I'm Lou. And I'm Aaron. We're in Jesus Peace. Yeah, and this is Records of My Life. Guys, thanks so much for being on Records in My Life. How are you today? Doing well, man. Doing, Doing awesome. Well. Feeling How's good. How's the tour? I mean, you're on the builders. Yeah. Two on some nights, three other great bands. How, how's it rolling so far? It's insane, to be honest. Like, yeah, every night has, you know, just blew my mind in, in some way or other. You know, there's not a, like a lull in the tour. You know, usually you get a couple weird spots or something, but every day has been insane. Yeah, it's almost like Groundhog's Day. Like every day is like yeah. a repetition of That's like great. we wake up, we're tired, we get to the show, it starts up quick. The energy is like on full blast, 100. The kids are going nuts. It's it'll be the same tonight. So. Yeah, I think it's sold out tonight too. Of course, <laughs> hell yes. And your record's dropping very soon. Tell your fans and our audience, please, a bit about it. I read that it was very um, stress, maybe stressful is the wrong word, intense uh, period. It can be intense, but I don't think that the, I don't think it's stressful. I enjoy listening to it actually. Um, it comes out April fourteenth on Century Media. Uh, pre-orders are up now, so if you're seeing this, go pre-order it. Pre-order it. Um, I really don't know what to say. I really think it's the. I feel like it's a new beginning for Jesus Peace. I really think it's it's uh, the start of what we've been trying to reach for a long time, and it only starts here. And Century Media, it's the first. It's the first record. You're, they're a legendary yeah. label because you were on Southern Lord, I think, and you were also on. Yeah. Um, sorry, my brain is. But if you can continue for me, you were on Southern Lord, and uh, what was the other label? We had a split on Bridge Nine, right? Bridge and Nine. GTR sorry, from yeah. uh, from Pennsylvania. They put out our demo. So shout out GTR. Oh yeah, they started it. So Century Media, when they approach you, because there's so many great thrash metal hardcore bands on that they have a give me give me a couple of your favorite records from that uh just in general from the label yeah uh, do, you have, do you have a couple of favorites yeah i mean i'll go ahead and just give a shout out to sanguisu bog they just dropped the record on century media and that shit is a hitter you know um but off the top of my head i don't really know down the roster just start throwing things out there to yeah, honest. to be honest, I have I have so little knowledge on Century Media, but that's incredible. It's actually I, 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 I'm kind of shocked. Sorry to interrupt you. No, I, I actually I, I'm not ashamed to admit that it's actually awesome for me because I'm discovering a whole new world because it's like so out my realm um, of like like that kind of metal and stuff. So it's exciting to meet the guys and like just kind of dig into it and kind of it being a new thing for me. It was a group effort. It wasn't necessarily my decision to be like, yeah, we're going to do Central Media. I was passionate about how they felt about us. So that made me passionate about them. And then we, you know, we, we clashed and had a good uh, bond. So it was good. Yeah. I'd agree Fantastic. So, I mean, your sound has been described that there was a Craigslist ad or an old school, <laughs> high school <laughs> billboard ad saying, if you like, because your sound has been described of, you know, there's many, many genres, obviously straight edge, hardcore punk. Uh, yeah. Um, what what bands would be on that list of, of, you, of to form the band? Begin the essence of the band, the genesis of the band. Like uh, if you were pro, you were approaching each other. Hey, what what bands? That? Like what what are our influences? What are our exactly? Influences? Oh, man, that's tough. There's it, it, so like, much. It, it's like a rainbow of influences. <laughs> so give us a couple of records each. <laughs> oh my god. I mean. I can't say. No, say what you want. <laughs> What's this? We were bumping a lot of devourment. <laughs> Uh, yeah. We were listening to a lot of slam metal when we started Jesus Peace. It's, uh, it, I don't know, so many things influenced us. Like, even on this record, like, coming out, like, uh, DJ Rashad from Chicago, he influenced my drumming a lot. And those, that's just electronic beats. But um, to, to form Jesus Peace, yeah. I, I honestly, it's a very tough question. Was, but, uh, yeah, we were listening to a lot of Devourment. I was listening to a lot of DB. I was listening to a lot of black metal. Yeah. Um, I was listening to uh, a lot of Coro, the 700 Club EP. That's influenced my drumming a lot because uh, you want to hear records. I'm trying to think of records. Yes, that, yes. record titles are key. Yes. Sorry about that. Yes, sorry. <laughs> Please, if you can. I'm forgetting yeah. the theme of this interview. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> it's hard, you know, because some of them I don't, I don't know all. But, I, honestly, I'm thinking of this like we're just having a conversation, and I'm forgetting like, oh, it's records. Like talking about records. Yeah. <laughs> but um, uh, uh, Youth of Today, all of their discography influenced my drumming. 
Um, Sin 34, uh, Do You Feel Safe? They're from Southern California. They influence a lot of my drumming. Yeah. What do you think vocally? Vocally, and I'm really not trying to be a dick about it, but like, <laughs> I, I, I try not to sound like anybody else. You know? Makes sense. Like I, that's the easiest way to hurt yourself, I feel like. you know. But when we first started, yeah, we were really bumping a lot of that. I was listening to uh, a lot of this seven inch called demo by <laughs> the merciless concept but that yeah it's just this demo <laughs> fantastic uh what else i was listening to a lot of oceano depths Hell that's yeah. a good one i just uh, discovered that record this tour so <laughs> it's crazy i'm starting to understand his uh his uh pa- like not past but like his yeah. origins like i'm uh, I, I always loved like you know death metal and shit so and like deathcore music it, that was like when i started getting into it so oceano and bands like that were all like kind of in the baseline of that shit and seeing like other black people do vocals i was like yo this is crazy <laughs> so oceano depths i'll give that to credit trying to be like as beast as i can on the record like homeboy <laughs> If there was a record. Adam Warren actually is his name. Great vocalist. Cool. Oh, cheat him. I have to listen to that because I haven't heard the record. So, but but the both of you are talking about it like it's. Uh... I, I actually I'm, I just learned about he it. He literally so. yeah, we yeah. just put it on in the van. We we're like yo, you gotta Wait, check this out. I was just spitting records. Not even I was just spitting records that influenced my drumming since I was a little kid. Yeah, now, yeah. I can't think of anything specific for this record that influenced me. But besides the DJ Rashad thing, I can honestly say I took some of the the footwork beats and added them to breakdowns and made it like a metal thing. So I don't know. I think that's the only thing I could really say. I was bumping a lot of Full of Hell at the time. Uh, The Roots of Earth Will Consume My Home. That's a good record. Incredible record. And Dylan is a psycho vocalist. He's crazy. So, I mean, that's someone I look up to as a peer, you know. So really any of the Full of Hell records are crazy. But at that time when we were doing the band, I was bumping that record a lot. Thank you so much for this. Is like a real education for me because I don't know a lot of those <laughs> records. And I love that genre of music seriously. So I love discovering new records. It helps oh, me, yeah. and I love it too. Hell yeah, awesome. What's a record you guys would like to hear live, and in its entirety? Oh shit. Okay, El Mundo Frio by Corrupted. It's a one-hour ballad of this <laughs> Japanese doom band, but all their song <laughs> titles are in Spanish, and it's it only came out on CD. It's an, Again, it's an hour long. I would absolutely sit down and watch the song. It's a, it's a journey. Sorry, that literally just... I, don't, I didn't even have to think about that one. It just popped in my head. There's probably a, a bunch of them, but that's the number one for me for sure. It came right out. Okay. It came yeah, right out. It was just natural. It was natural. Maybe I'll regret this answer later. No. <laughs> it's a toss-up between... Fucking Sonic U30... Which would probably be a lot of like noise shit too. <laughs> It'd be a little, a little weird at times, but uh, or I would see like uh, Split by Lush. You like that record? It's an incredible record. I would just stand there, vibe out, wall of sound. You know, fan of that. What's a record if you could witness one record being recorded in the studio? If it could be a fly on the wall. Oh my god, that's so. That's so- that's so dense. That's a very dense <laughs> question. Honestly, I would have loved to see. This is probably a really uh, basic answer, but I think about my dad so much. I would love to have seen the RZA make his some of the original Wu Tang beats. I don't know if that's like a record, but it would have been really cool to see that. Like the origins of it, him sampling the Kung Fu movies, him like just sitting there like working on the MPC and whatever. Like that. It's funny. I'm not even that much into hip hop, but I think about my dad so much, and I would have loved to have seen the origins of that. Of the sampling and everything. That's a good one. Oh, that fucking Rick James record. What is it? Street Stories, I think it's called. I would love to be in the studio <laughs> to see what the hell was going on over there. Oh, can I say one more? I wish I could have seen yeah, yeah, Chief sure. Keef record his first. I wish you could have seen Chief Keef record Almighty So Too. Just in like Chops room. I just wish I could see him record in general. Like his ad libs, the way, everything about like all of Chief Keef's mixtapes are just They're nuts. Insane, yeah. And everything you hear in rap today are influenced by his early mixtapes. So I'm gonna just say that on camera. <laughs> if anybody disagrees with me, put it in the comments. <laughs> no, no, no. We Comment can talk below, there. Sorry. That's great. <laughs>
So what's our record? You're probably going to buzz right off the... Oh, right, you're going to hit the buzzer within a second after oh, I answer. Sorry. Ask this question. Let's Aaron, <laughs> answer first this time. I keep jumping in front of him. I'm sorry. No, I'm no, excited. it's cool. It's fine. It's fine. I'm happy that you're happy, dude. So what record, despite how many times you've listened to it, still, like, how, how, like, still blows your mind? Like, how did they do it? How did you come up with that, that riff or that sample okay. or that? I would go Block Party, Silent Alarm. Oh yeah, that's a great record. Insane Love record. that record. That's the record that. That's why I do any of this. I saw that shit. I saw like a block party music video at random. I was like, whoa. <laughs> no, that, that's a killer oh, record. Shit. Yeah, and then I got the record for Christmas. It fucking blew my mind, dude. That's a nice one because that's a record you can listen to from beginning to end. There's no filler on that record. Straight up. Um, All killer, no filler. Hell yeah. Isn't that a Sum 41 song? It is. <laughs> okay, sick. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. That's an album. <laughs> um, for me, the first thing that comes to my head is uh, Burial Untrue from 2007 oh, yeah. on uh, Hyperdub. Hyperdub? Yes. That's like another one that I would love to see. He created that record on like some, not even a doll. It was like an, a, like an audio editing system or whatever. And it's just, it blows my mind every time. It's the most, one of the most beautiful records ever. And it never gets old. It's timeless. Whether you hate him or not, Elon Musk has sent you, you received an email saying, you're coming up. Do you want to come up? To space? The rocket? Yeah. yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah, Do you want to sure. come, you want to come play in the rocket? Yeah, I'm going on that rocket. <laughs> Best believe it, brother. <laughs> What's the question, though? <laughs> the question is, what, what record do you take with you? You're allowed one oh, oh, shit. to experience the God. ride. Fucking Suvlaki, baby. Slow dive. Beautiful record. Uh, yeah, that, that's going beautiful. Going to fucking space, bumping records. Slow dive for sure. I get that. It's a nice relaxing record. Yeah. To like... I'm going to take... Oh, man, that's so tough. I'm, this is awesome because I'm just thinking about like shit that comes to my mind and it's supernatural. I don't know if it's the right answer, but uh, William Bazinski, oh. uh, maybe Water Music or the, the Disintegration Loops, the, the really long one, the most famous one. I forget what it is. 1.1. One of those I would love to hear on a spaceship. But I feel like I would go crazy. I don't know. That's a tough one. You know what? I, yeah. I'll put in the comments later what I think later. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I, I'm just thinking about what record will I want to bump with Elon Musk in, in a rocket to make it more awkward. <laughs> you know what I mean? like, Honestly, I don't even care about Elon Musk. I just want to like stare at the moon and go. Right. Oh, like li like really get in the mood of being in space. So, I've, but then if I never come back, then I'll be kind of bummed. <laughs> if, I ever come back. if I never come back from space, I'll be bummed if that's the only record I have to listen to because it's yeah, just sure. literally drone. So. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be tight. Like a Michael Bay movie. It's just literally, oh, and then, but it'll be nice. <laughs> this is the speed round. This is a fun, fun part of the show. So, weed, water, or wine to listen to or write? Like, what do I need? Weed, water, or Which wine? Which do you prefer for both? Okay, I never drank, I never smoked, so I'm going to go water every time. <laughs> so, it's a pretty bad. Uh, I guess water. Well, I, mean, I need Water's water. Water's good. Water's but your maybe friend. maybe one day in the deep depths of my life, I will try one of the other two, but def most likely not. I'm going to say 99.9, .9, not going to try. <laughs> but he's will give a better answer. Uh, for listening, weed. But for writing, wine, for sure. You get a little loose, especially being a vocalist. Like If you overthink everything, nothing's going to come out. So if you just relax and just say a bunch of shit, Something nice comes out of it. Sure. Coffee with an artist, alive or dead? Ooh. Oh, my God. Jimi Hendrix. That's it. <laughs> he's he's been He's been referenced before, for yeah, sure. Me, I want to yeah. get some coffee with Jimmy. Kick yeah. It, you know what I mean? I would like to just sit down and talk to uh, Richard D. James <laughs> and just, like, learn to hate him because <laughs> he's probably super arrogant and yeah. annoying. <laughs> but I don't want to drink coffee. I'll just chill with him. I'll just, we'll get, like, uh, some food. He probably he's got a bit of a right to be arrogant, a bit, a bit of a trailblazer. Yeah, but, you know, when you're just sitting down drinking coffee with me, I'm yeah. gonna give you a hard time if you're gonna be yeah. arrogant. I'll tell you that Hell right yeah. now. So it'll be a fun argument. That's good. That's cool. Um, record of your high school years, your generation. First record that comes to mind. Armor for sleep. What to do when you're dead. I, it's tough because there's a couple that uh, bands. I'm gonna be honest. I don't care that I listened to in high school that are canceled now. So I'll have to give you an unhonest answer. No, no, you can give us a canceled one. Uh, I was listening to a lot of Total Abuse in high school. They're from Texas. I don't know what those guys are doing now. It has nothing to do with me, but yes, a lot of Total Abuse. Um, probably the Mutt record or Prison. I think it's called Prison Sweat. I forget, but I don't know. 
If you want to check them out, that's on you. <laughs> <laughs> so you have you just out of curiosity, so you stopped listening to that record? Were they like proven like to be? I'm just kind of curious. I actually don't know. Yeah, uh, it's just like it comes from like a scene where like they're like more, like I don't know. These guys are just intense, aggressive. I, they're just yeah. I don't know if they're aggressive, but there's just intense people. And uh, I haven't listened to a lot of it since high school, but I still do appreciate it musically. So I have no problem saying that. Guys, thanks again for being on Records. My life final question. It's a bit of a deep, uh, introspective question, but oh, shit. give yes. us your words of wisdom for your fans and our audience. Oh, about what? Yeah, about Just what? About like life. <laughs> uh, life? Your, your, can be anything. You're simple. All right, I'm going to just speak on music because I know what needs to hear my life advice. <laughs> when it comes to music, I'm still learning this. Take your time. Uh, there's no rush. You're g everyone's comparing each other. Everyone's comparing themselves to one another, but I guarantee you that if you stick to what you want to do, it will come. It will work out in the way you want it to. If you try to be something else, you will only get the results that you don't like because you're not being true to yourself. It's pretty corny, but it's I've learned that. Damn, many years. Yeah, that was good. I'm gonna follow that guy. <laughs> <That's good. laughs> Fantastic. Hi, I'm Mark Henning, the director and editor of Records in My Life. Guess you liked it because we're here at the end of the video. So hit like, leave us a comment, and subscribe. And if you're feeling supportive, consider clicking over to patreon.com forward slash RIMLTV, and you can help us out there. Cheers. See you next time.